What's happening guys? We're back and we're working inside today. Alright, this episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, before we jump on to building the front, uh, the front A-arms, the wishbones, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about kind of how we got to their design and, uh, and really what we're shooting for. Um, what I've found while building this car is, you know, the actual building of it's only probably 50%. The planning and the design phase of it is the other half. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen with you guys and show you uh, the, the, the piece of software that I'm using to design our front suspension. Uh, there's quite a bit that goes into it, but this is a free program. So if you guys are building a car at home, you can jump on here and figure out where you want to put your, your roll centers and your instant centers and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to dig too deep into the actual math behind roll center heights and, uh, and jacking forces and all that stuff. Uh, if you want to learn about that, there's lots of resources on the internet, uh, but we just really don't have time here. So let's show you guys what we're working with. All right, this is the basic uh, piece of software that I've been using, it's called VSEP. Uh, I'll throw a link in the, the description down below. But essentially, what we can do with this is you, uh, you put in all your dimensions for your, uh, for your frame mounting points here. So this is all kind of how high above the ground your, your frame's gonna sit, where your mounting points are in relation to that. Um, these are just kind of the default values. Um, and then you can come in and you measure up your steering knuckles and you can kind of see what the, the dimensions that you need are from there, your, your X and your Y dimensions for, for your, uh, your ball joints. So we measured those up using that jig that we built a couple episodes ago. Got a good idea of where the ball joint uh, rotating points are in X and Y. Plug those in and then you can kind of mess with your control arm and your frame mounting points. Um, there's another section in here about steering. I haven't really dug into that too much, but that's able to, uh, to calculate your, your Ackerman and everything. And your, uh, your, toe is, your, your toe changes as you go through the corners. Um, I haven't dealt with that very much, but yeah. So you plug in all your, your dimensions in here and then you can kind of, you can kind of move your chassis as if you're going around a corner, you know, give it the rotating. You can hit bumps with it and you can see how this little green dot here, this is your roll center. So this is really what we're, what we're looking for is to keep that roll center at a fairly constant height above the ground. Um, these pink ones here are the instant centers. So those refer to, uh, basically it's the, in, on, on a double A-arm suspension like this, it's the intersection between a line drawn through the top uh, A-arm and the bottom A-arm. We just extend those lines out until they meet and that's called your instant center. And then if you take that instant center and this instant center and you draw lines from those over to the contact patch of the tire that they came from, where those lines intersect is where you get that roll center. Let's see if we can kind of, there you go. So you can see there's the, the intersection between this so on the right side here, this A-arm and this A-arm come out and make the right side inter instant center, which is a way out on the left. And then you draw a line from that down to the contact patch over here. And then wherever those two intersect, that's your roll center. So kind of the goal, anytime you're, you're designing front suspension like this, is when you go through a corner, you want this roll center to stay basically stay as close as possible to the same point. So you can see how when we go through a corner with this, that roll center only moves, I don't know, a couple inches. Even as we're going through really drastic body lean, it stays pretty consistent. Um, same thing when you go over bumps, you wanna keep it fairly steady. And it, it, this, this is actually a very well designed front suspension. Uh, from default, they, uh, they did a pretty good job. But we'll show you guys what mine looks like now. This, 
and it's not quite as classy looking. Uh, this is the correct dimensions put in for our steering knuckles. Uh, we went out and measured them, put in where our ball joints are, and then our frame, we put in kind of the basic dimensions for our frame, and this is the front suspension that we end up with. Doesn't look quite as pretty as this one, but it's not bad. So same thing, we can go through and kind of play with the rolls. Um, you can see my roll center moves a lot more side to side than theirs does. Uh, a big part of that is where my pickups are. Um, same thing, it, it goes up and down a lot more. In order to prevent that, I would have to have a, uh, a much uh, higher rake angle on these top A arms. You can see that they have quite a bit of, like their instant centers are quite close, whereas my instant centers are actually quite far away in comparison. They're actually pretty far outside the chassis. It's not a huge deal. Um, the roll center doesn't move around too, too much, even through a fairly reasonable amount of lean, um, but it does move. Um, it is, we kept it fairly low. I think it's about two or three inches above the ground. Yeah, two inches above the ground. That's kind of where we want it to be. If you get your roll center too high, the car won't uh, the car won't actually roll over when it goes through a corner. It'll just slide sideways and it won't weight transfer onto that outside tire. So you do want to keep your roll center fairly low. Um, some guys will actually put their roll centers underground. It's a virtual point, so you can put it wherever you want. Um, I didn't want mine underground because the roll center on the back is quite high, it's at like 10 inches. So if we put the roll center at the front really low and the roll center at the back really high, our roll axis is uh, is very tipped. And that's gonna make, uh, when we go into a corner on the brakes, it's gonna make the car wanna kinda act pretty squirrely. Um, it's probably gonna lead to lift off oversteer. So we wanted to keep it somewhat level. So we settled with two inches. Um, once again, it's not a perfect front suspension but it's pretty close, it's pretty good. Uh, and we can always modify it in the future if we need to. It's, uh, it's not set in stone. So what we learned from this, or what we take from this to go out to build our front suspension is we know where all of our, uh, all of our pivot points need to be. So we're one inch above the bottom of the frame rail on the lower pivot, and we're 10.875 inches from the from center, so we can build tabs to put our uh, our rotating points there, our pickup points for our lower control arm. Same thing with the upper control arm. We have our where our points need to be for that, and then we have the lengths of our control arms. So we're 9.6 and 13 and a half on the bottom. So we can take those uh, those lengths, build a jig, and then uh, weld up some lower control arms. Um, this program also does rear suspension if you're interested, but uh, I it, it only does independent rear suspension, so we had to we had to kind of fudge it with our with our solid axle. But so now that we have all the dimensions that we need, um, probably on Thursday we're gonna take these dimensions, we're gonna build some jigs, and then use those jigs to uh, to weld up some control arms. So. That's the plan for the next episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a, a dig into what I do in between episodes to, to, to make this car work. Um, yeah, and that's where we're gonna call it today. Uh, we're at like seven minutes on the laptop, so that's long enough. So, thank you so very much. Blah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, come back next episode, should be on Thursday, and we'll actually do some work. I'm out of here.